Hello folks, I'm Garrett Oliver, brewmaster of Brooklyn Brewery, and welcome to Oliver House. Uh, I am holed up here, just like all the rest of you. Uh, I'm going to show you a recipe uh, that I think that you might enjoy yourselves. As we get into this time of year, this is something that I'll make when I want to treat myself. And these days, I feel like I need to treat myself every day. So let's get going. This sounds a little bit weird, uh, but you're going to love it. It is a goat cheese and Granny Smith apple omelet. Now, why Granny Smith, you're asking? Well, you want something like this. It's got a lot of tart acidity to it because we're gonna pair that up with not only our beer, but also with our cheese. Uh, you don't want something that's flabby. Now, I took the liberty of getting this thing going. You're gonna wanna peel off some pieces uh, and get them going in some butter and saute them until they get just about like that. Looks pretty good. You don't want them flabby. You just want them kind of nice and brown. Uh, on the outside. You can even sprinkle in a little sugar uh, if you don't mind that just to get it browning uh, even nicer, but it should only take a few minutes. This is an omelet that I like to do uh, with one egg because you can't let everything get completely out of control right now. Um, and so I use one egg. This is a good egg, which has a good hard shell. I like that. Means that this was a good chicken. Uh, you can use a little bit of water in an omelet. Uh, I like to use uh, a little milk. In this case, what I've got, which is some half and half, which usually for the coffee, uh, just a little bit. You can add in a pinch of salt. Now, if you really wanna make a good omelet, what you don't wanna do is over whip the eggs. You just need to break it up a little bit, like that. That's really all you wanna do with it. Um, and now we've got our pan going. The secret to the omelet, I hate to tell you people, it's butter. More butter than you think. You start to feel a little bit bad about it, you have exactly the right amount. <laughs> That's how much butter you want. It's got to strike you as slightly unhealthy, don't worry about it. Look, <laughs> we're trying to all trying to get through. Get your butter around your pan, heat your pan up. Get it good and hot. And what we're gonna pair this up with is a, a beer called Bel Air, which is a sour beer, a um, little bit tart, kind of fruity, kind of tropical, never mind the mimosa. Beer is where it's at. So now uh, watch this. As soon as our butter is nice and melted, we're gonna get into this pan. Now, when I was a kid, I loved omelets. Omelets were kind of, uh, my secret thing that you could be creative with. At this point, you want to turn the heat down. Uh, you could be creative with, you could put whatever you wanted in them. My dad once made a cornflake and grape jelly omelet. I do not know to this day whether he did this as a joke uh, or whether or not that was something he actually liked. So your omelet should move fairly easily uh, around uh, your pan there. And now, our goat cheese. Try and get something from your local place, something relatively fresh. Uh, if you can only get French goat cheese, fine, use that. But uh, this is from Vermont. Uh, I really like it. Uh, there are some great dairies here in New York State as well. Um, with everything going on, I didn't find uh, that one, but Vermont dairy will always do fine. All right, we're just getting in there. Look, they're my fingers, it's my house. I'm gonna eat it, don't worry about it. Uh, do it Do it however you wanna do it. All right, I got it in there just like that. I have over here, I'm gonna turn this off because that's cooking now. It's just about done. I'm gonna lay in my little bits of caramelized apple. That is beautiful. And now, I'm just gonna fold over my omelet. Now, if I were trained to be a French chef or something like that, this omelet would not be good enough because it's got a little bit of browning. I like browning on my omelet, all right? I'm not gonna hear anything about it. I got my plate. And just like this, I am off onto my plate. I like pepper. Say magnifique ça. 
All right. And here, star of our show is Bel Air. Uh, people call kettle sour. Really, I call hot side sour. However you like it. I saw that. Don't worry about it. Uh, uh, hot side sour. Uh, tart, bright. You got a little bit of acidity going on in the goat cheese, obviously. You got some acidity going on uh, uh, in the beer. You got a whole tropical thing. I only got one egg. I'm going to say it's healthy. All right. Take care of yourselves. Stay inside, but still be good to yourself. And hopefully we'll see you real soon. Take care. Hey, this is going to be good.